Most likely you're already using Canva or you've at least heard about this incredible design tool. Not only can you create social media content, presentations, logos, other graphics, a website and more, you can now streamline your social media activities with Canva's built-in content planner. You can simply create content and then seamlessly schedule and post that content across all your social media channels using your Canva account. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now today I'm gonna dive into this Canva Content Planner tutorial and share how you can simply set up and leverage this feature to streamline your social media marketing activities in 2023 using Canva. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Canva Content Planner tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so what we're going to do is design, create, schedule and publish our social media content from within Canva simultaneously using Canva's content planner. So to do that, what we want to do is dive into Canva by heading over to canva.com and that's going to take you here or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's also going to take you here. Now, if you're yet to create a Canva account, go ahead and sign up for free. Now, it's important to note that if you want to leverage the content calendar inside Canva, you do need to upgrade to the paid plan, the Pro Canva plan. However, you can get started with Canva's Pro plan for free for 30 days and you can cancel at any time. So go ahead, sign up for free or sign in and we'll meet you inside our Canva account. Okay, so here I am inside my Canva Pro account. Now again, if you're completely new to Canva and you're not too sure how Canva works, you're not too sure how to navigate through Canva and use all the impressive tools and features, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get up and running with Canva. So go ahead and check out that first if you're completely new to Canva. Okay, so back in our Canva home to access the content planner, all we need to do is navigate over to the left hand side and click on content planner under tools. And within the content planner, this is where we can plan and manage our social media content, scheduling and publishing content, as well as managing events. Now, if we navigate up to the top, you can see that we have all events selected. If we come down here, we can only select social media posts or the events that you have added. So I like to keep all events selected, that way you can see all these important dates within your calendar. Okay, so what we want to do is navigate up to these three dots up here, and we first need to connect our social media accounts. Go ahead and click on connect social account, and choose the social media account that you want to connect. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Facebook business page, and then click on connect Facebook. Then continue, and I'm going to select this business page, and then click on next and then done. And I've quickly gone ahead and linked Canva to Facebook. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and connected some of these social media channels to my Canva account. This means I can simultaneously schedule and publish content directly on these social media channels that I've connected. So again, take the time to connect your social media channels. I'm going to exit out of this. And then for example, what I can do is navigate up to add new and then click on post or event. If I click on post, that's gonna generate my recent designs up here, and I can also navigate down here and select from a pre-made template. I can also go ahead and create a design from scratch. Then navigate up to the date and choose the date that you wanna schedule this content to. So for example, if I click on the 14th, that's a week from now, I can navigate down here and I can change the date to 12.30, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on PM and then done. Then up here, what I would do is select a channel. I'm gonna select Instagram, and this is the Instagram business account that I connected earlier. And I can also click the drop down again and add another channel. I'm gonna click on Facebook, and then connect this Facebook business page. And as you can see, if I click here, I have two channels connected, my Instagram business account and my Facebook business page. We can also go ahead and select another channel if we like. Then down here, all I would do is add the caption, 
and I'm going to navigate across and just select this image here. I want to come down and choose the format type. So I'm going to go ahead and select PNG because this is an image. I can also navigate across and select the different pages within this design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this option here to unselect and then I'm going to select page one. However, I can select multiple pages if I like and then I'm going to click done. Then all I would do is click on schedule or save as draft. I'm going to go ahead and click on schedule. And as you can see, that content has been scheduled for the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So on the 14th, we have the event here and we also have a post. Now, depending on the nature of your business, most likely what I would do is actually create a post related to the event on that day. But this is just an example. Now, if I click on this post, I can go ahead and change some of the details if I like before this post is scheduled and published. Now what we can do is also navigate up and navigate over to invite members and you can invite your members as well as create teams that can engage and collaborate with you on your content planner. This means you do not have to engage in social media marketing activities yourself and you can collaborate with a team. This means your team can help you design and create content as well as schedule that content on your content planner. Now we can also navigate over to add new and we can add a event if we like. So you're not just managing your social media content, you're also managing specific events. This allows you to manage everything in one place, your events as well as your social media content. For example, it could be special days at work, it could be some form of celebration at your workplace or any other event that you want to manage within your content planner. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this. Now what we can also do is navigate back to home. And I'm going to show you another way that you can create content within Canva and then publish that content across your social media channels. So what we can do is navigate up here and I'm going to type in Instagram post. And I'm going to come down and click on Instagram post square. This is ideal for an Instagram and Facebook post. And then down here I can choose an Instagram post template if I like that I can then customize and design from or I can create an Instagram post from scratch. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to navigate down and click on this Instagram post and then click on customize this template. And that's going to take me to this design interface. Now over on the left hand side, we have different designs, elements, photos, images, and more that we can make use of to create our Instagram post. However, again, if you want to learn more about all these different features and tools that you can make the most of, watch the full tutorial down below in the description that will dive deeper into all the different features that Canva has to offer. For now, I'm just going to navigate over here and change a few of these texts. So you can click on any of these text elements and change the text the way that you like. You can also drag and drop. I'm happy with that. I can also change the formatting and the color up above. So we have different formatting options up here. Now I'm going to quickly go ahead and add a logo. And this is my logo down here. So I'm going to add that and then drag that so it's smaller. So resizing and I'm going to place that logo up here. Now you can also simply create logos and videos inside Canva if you like. Again, I'll pop those tutorials down below if you want to learn how to create logos and videos with Canva. Okay, so once you're happy with your new Instagram post, what we can do is navigate up to share and then come down and click on schedule. Now the great thing about the content planner inside Canva is you don't have to download your designs and then upload those designs to a different social media management tool. You can do everything from the design to publishing content all within Canva. Then choose the date and the time and then click next. Then select the channels that you want to post this content to. I'm going to select this Instagram account. Then all I would do is add a caption and then come down and click on schedule or save as draft. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this introduction tutorial, helping you get started with the content planner inside Canva. As you can see, this eliminates the need to use a different social media management platform to schedule your content across your different channels. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Canva tutorial, helping you streamline your social media marketing activities with Canva's built-in content planner. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.